The two-flow advection dispersion module is used for tracking constituent into a bay and salinity intrusion. This video demonstrates how to use the two-flow advection dispersion module. We will use a scattered data set in order to obtain our bathymetry. First, we will adjust the display options to better visualize our data. A two-flow model uses grids, feature coverages, and model control objects. We will start by building the base grid and coverages. When creating the coverage, we must change the type to one of the two-flow coverages. Using the Create 2D Grid Frame tool, we will create a grid frame around the model and then map it to a 2D grid. Area property coverages define the material zones of the grid. This can be done by digitizing directly from an image or the data can be imported from an Esri shapefile. Two-Flow can read the area property data from either GIS data or data mapped to the grid. We will use data mapped to the grid by importing the materials map. Using the Select Feature Polygon tool, we can see that each polygon on the map is assigned a material property. We need to associate the area property with the grid. This is specified in the Grid Options dialog. At the same time, we will specify that the grid will use cell codes from BC coverages. We need to specify the boundary conditions for our model. We will include a flow rate boundary condition on the upstream and side channel portions of the model and a water surface elevation boundary condition on the downstream portion of the model. To assign boundary conditions for the main upstream arc, we will change the BC coverage type to two flow, 1D, 2D BCs and links. We can change the boundary conditions in the Attributes dialog. We will repeat the same steps for assigning boundary conditions for the side channel and the downstream portion of the main channel using appropriate time and flow values. We have created a grid and several coverages, and now we are ready to create a two-flow simulation. The geometry component includes a grid and coverages which apply directly to the grid. We will create a new geometry component 
by choosing the new 2D geometry component under the components folder. Then drag the grid and the coverages under it. Now that we have a simulation, we need to define our material properties. We will create a new material set and assign Manning's end values to the materials in the properties window. As the two-flow simulation requires a link to the geometry component, we have to create one. We can do it by dragging the geometry component onto the simulation. The two-flow model parameters include timing controls, output controls, and various model parameters. We can set up the model parameters in the 2D model control dialog. In the model control, we also set up the advection dispersion data. Then, selecting the arcs, we will select the advection dispersion dialog and assign the time and the concentration values accordingly. Before running TwoFlow, we have to export the files. TwoFlow generates text log files and message files that contain useful information regarding the data used in the simulation as well as warning messages. They are located under the TwoFlow directory in the log folder. TwoFlow output data is found in a folder named Results under the TwoFlow folder. Each file begins with the name of the simulation which generated the files. The TwoFlow output is read into SMS in the form of a two-dimensional mesh. The data can be visualized using any post-processing techniques included in SMS.